it really is crazy to think where solar bills have taken us. You know, top of mountains, different countries. Yeah, they take you on these adventures that you'll never forget with the people you'll never forget. What's also amazing to hear is when people say it's really crazy where you take your solar bills. To be a part of that and witness it all over the world is something that uh, is just insane. <laughs> Seems like daytime to me, dog. Yeah, it's 5.30 in the morning. We're in my hometown, Skellefteå, and it's time to go to Finland. <laughs> we gotta start filming things at some point, huh? Nobody wants to see me flying through 19 airports <laughs> to get here. Gotta import one of these so I can ride, do vintage races. Who's this guy? <laughs> Thanks for driving me around today. <laughs> this morning. You're welcome. <laughs> We're in, uh, we're in Finland now, right? Yeah. I have no I I don't know where I'm at. Andreas is probably lost as well. Yeah, it kind of feels like we're not going the right way. Flew in yesterday like 150 hours of travel. Andreas knows about it. He came to the states twice this year. Oh. What's up? We need to learn Finnish. <laughs> I don't know if I should learn Swedish, Finnish, Spanish, French, or just better English. <laughs> better English. Yeah, start, <laughs> start with English. Okay. <laughs> It's a dream trip, honestly. Hey, well, good to see you. Thank you. In mentally, for sure, for everybody, that that was kind of a a, a really really important moment yeah. to show that uh, in in Lynx there was people who were able to uh, make such a race led, which which can win races uh, against the other brands, and also that uh, this is actually what people want to have. That that's how GLS started. Yeah. It's insane to think that if certain races weren't won back in the day by him and the team, we wouldn't be having the conversations. We wouldn't be standing in that room because those race wins were pivotal to the direction of the entire brand. They told Andreas and I we couldn't build them. We're not allowed to touch anything here. Follow the rules. They also said no camera in there. Well, so follow the rules and no cameras. Ah. Two things we don't know nothing about. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we just finished a tour of the factory. Met with the shredder team. Polly was there. We sh he shared uh, some stories of the good old days when he pioneered the racing division for Lynx. L Lynx Without would that. not have lived on if he wouldn't have won those two like first races. And he fell off in the first corner of the first heat. But that's like the real Sisu moment that like made Lynx continue living. Now we're gonna go check into the hotel and then I'm gonna sauna, so this is the last word you'll ever hear from me after the oh, I'm gonna go get absolutely destroyed. Do American people even know what sauna is? But no. I mean they think they do. There's like four of them that do. <laughs> yeah. So great. Well, in Finland they know what sauna is. Yeah, they don't is. mess around yeah, with the yeah. sauna here. God. Ladies and gentlemen, we've arrived. Yeah, thinking about life. What are we doing? Seeing some road, some tarmac. Seeing some tarmac.
we've heard about this place for years in the U.S. and uh, it's special for sure, as you can see. Some of the best riders in Europe gather here every year in May into June. When our season is pretty much done and dusted, our sleds are put away, these guys are at the peak of their year. Uh, some of the gnarliest riders that I've ever witnessed when it comes to doing what they do. I'm just along for the ride. They're speaking way too much Swedish. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just following and enjoying watching the show. I never know what anybody's saying. Are we going now? I think Andreas just left me. right now. Yep. <laughs> Dinner and coffee up in the mountains. Swedish Vika. Swedish Vika. In the afternoon. Or evening. Evening. Like what is time? Seven? Like, yeah, seven thirty. Yeah. That's the sun is still way up there. We have like four hours to do in the snow release. <laughs> to ride. The views are good too. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Can't, can't really complain. Yeah. And there's not a jump that hasn't been built. There's not a gap that hasn't been scoped out. And with the amount of insane talent in one town for those three weeks, flat out the sport is getting pushed like I've never seen. And what became the tagline of the trip for me? Smaller mountains, bigger jumps, flatter landings. And those guys go big. Smaller mountains, bigger jumps, flatter landings. Welcome to Sweden, mother. Good. Oh, you can blame it on my attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, baby, that's just my attitude. Yeah, I don't blame it. If I was you, I'd probably be getting mad at too. Oh, oh, I know now, baby, that ain't no better thing. Yeah, that's just my attitude. Yeah, yeah, okay, hey, that's just my. 109 a.m. We're so far north that the sun never goes down. There's still light in the sky right now. And for those of you who have no idea how that works, it's because the sun is like up here and it's like this. The sun just goes like this. It never goes down. You walk outside at 2 a.m. and it's still light. I have been screwed up for the last week and a half. My sleep is ruined. I need to go home so I can go sleep properly. Ah! Shout out to Lynx for sending me over. Shout out to Andreas for babysitting me. He's over there, not on camera, not talking to anybody. He's, only, he's business, and when I mean business, it's flips and tricks only. Come on. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 uh. yeah, yeah. Uh.